لو هلاو هاي كلاو جود ايفنينج هلاو 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 هاو ار يو Okay, we're about to start the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to have your cameras on. Very good. Let's wait for your classmate. Just one more minute. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hi class, how are you today? How are you? I wanna listen to you. How are you today? Are you happy today? Are you tired today? How do you feel today? I can see Claudia and Jose Samuel only. How are you today? Tell me Claudia and Jose Samuel. It's a good day. It's a good day, excellent. How about you Claudia? It's a good day. It's a good day too. Okay, so I'm uh, um, just missing Saira, Amilcar, Catherine, and Emma. Don't forget to have your cameras on. Y si tenemos algún inconveniente con, ya sea con audio o con la cámara, escríbanme en el chat para saber y que esté justificado, okay? De lo contrario. I'm driving my car. Bien, my okay, don't worry. Thank you so much, Amilcar. Okay. Perfecto. Gracias, Emma, por la puntualidad. Le entiendo perfectamente. Le esperamos. ¿no? Eh, veamos los demás. Cameras on. Cameras on, please. Para que podamos interactuar, que podamos vernos. Hoy sí, ya ocho en punto. Miren, gracias por la puntualidad. En serio, se aprecia bastante el esfuerzo. Sé que muchos están dirigiéndose a casa o algunos acaban de llegar a casa, no han cenado, algo así, pero aquí vamos, ok? Here we go, cameras on all the time, ok? We are going to wait so we can take the attendance list. Esperamos dos minutos y luego pasamos la lista. So, tell me class, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What was the topic from yesterday? ¿Se acuerdan del tema de ayer? ¿Qué tema estábamos tocando ayer? What's the topic? Irregular, eh, irregular and irregular verbs. Ah, ok. Excelente. We were having an introduction, a short introduction about regular and irregular verbs. Ok, regular and irregular verbs. But let me ask you, did you check the platform? Did you go and check the course in the platform, the videos? Did you take the time? Yes, no? Be honest. Chequearon la plataforma este día. Completamos los ejercicios que estamos eh, desarrollando, sección número uno. Yes. Ok, so, eh, como recordatorio, y luego en español para que nos quede súper claro, sección uno y sección dos debe quedar lista para cuándo? Para? Mañana. Para mañana, bien. Acuérdense que nos vemos de lunes a jueves, from Monday to Thursday, ¿ok? Nos vemos cuatro días a la semana nada más, entonces eh, todo el contenido que hemos visto está en la sección 1 y mañana en la última clase vamos a finalizar con todo el contenido de la sección número 2. Entonces vamos a estar más que listos para que mañana, no el viernes, no sábado, no domingo, sino mañana, quede listo ya el ejercicio, el ejercicio, eh, bueno, ejercicios en este caso que están incluidos en la sección 1 y 2, ¿ok? No toman mucho tiempo, por eso tratamos de resolver dudas acá. Cuando nos conectamos, traten de aclarar cualquier duda que ustedes tengan. Ok. Very good. I don't know if it's me, but it's frozen. Hi, can, can you hear me, class? Hi, 
Hi class, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Tuve un bajón de luz, no sé si en su casa o ya está lloviendo o está a punto de llover. It's raining, teacher. ¿Verdad? It's raining, so. Tenemos esos pequeños inconvenientes yes. a veces con la virtualidad, pero aquí estamos de regreso. Gracias por mantenerse ahí. Eh, les estaba comentando, para mañana jueves debe estar finalizado sección 1 y sección 2, ¿ok? Aclaremos todas las dudas que tengamos en esta clase y en la sesión de mañana, ¿sí? Aquí vamos. So, yesterday we were talking about, let me show you. Uh, we were in section number one. My sister works downtown. I was telling you about simple present, simple present, and we were checking this video. Look, simple present statements, simple present statements. So this is the second video that we have here in the platform. Uh, we are going to start with this one. Uh, we are going to watch just a little bit, and then we have. Uh, the explanation. Okay, here we go. Take a look at this one. There we go, class. Let me know if you can listen. Don't can you hear me? Drive video? to work. Yes? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. So here we go with the explanation. Using regular verbs. Uh -huh. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. Okay. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Don't forget Subject your microphone. Plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Okay. Is the verb. And uh, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she. Okay, wait, let's make a pause. Class, who has the microphone? Tiene el micrófono encendido. Ah, ahí estamos. Si no, eh, nos cuesta entender lo que estamos viendo, ¿ok? Thank you so much. Here we go. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we're talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. Okay. For example, John Work. works near here. Okay, so Let's do the same, but I have my presentation. I want you to take a look at this one. 
we were going to talk about the same topic today. So look at this one. When we're talking about the simple present tense, simple present statements, okay? Simple present statements. Here we go, look at this one. Simple present statements. Why? Because when we talk about activities that we do on a daily basis or in the present, we are going to use the simple present. For example, uh, in the first class, I was asking you about uh, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? And you were telling me, I take the bus, I drive to work, I take the, the train, let's say. So those are simple present statements, okay? Son acciones que pasan, si no a diario, pero siempre en el presente, ¿ok? Presente. Por eso decimos simple present. Simple present. Afirmaciones o oraciones que están en el presente. And look, we have this formula. ¿Ok? So you can remember about the simple present. How do we get to form a sentence? We need the subject, verb, and a complement. One more time, subject plus verb plus complement. So, in other words, what do we need? Take a look at these examples. Number one, number one, Catherine, can you read number one, please? Catherine, Alicia, number one. Catherine, Alicia, can you help me with number one? Okay. So, Juliana, thank you. Juliana, number one. Uh, I, I take the bus. I take the bus. Very good job. Kelly, number two. I drive to work. I drive to work, excellent pronunciation. So, I take the bus. Can you identify the subject? Subject in the first one. What is the subject? I. Mm -hmm. I. And how about in number two? Can you mention the subject? I. I. I and I. And I. I, I take the subject, okay? I take the bus and I drive to work. And what else do we need? We need a verb. Can you identify the verbs? Verbs in the first and second sentence. Take and drive. Take and drive. Take and drive. And drive. Very good. I take and I drive. But in order to make a sentence, we need a complement. Necesitamos un complemento. En este caso, para que nuestra oración tenga lógica, tenga sentido. Okay? So, what is the complement? ¿Qué decimos de I? I take. Yo tomo. I take. So, what is the complement? The bus. The bus. Oh, very good. Look. The bus. And to work. So, estaremos cumpliendo la fórmula. Subject verb in complement? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. right? No. I take the box. Yes. I drive to work. Very good job. But look, this is personal information. Cuando nosotros estamos dando información de nosotros, I, I, okay? Usamos el sujeto I y luego el complemento, el verbo y complemento. Let's take a look. Pero qué si queremos hablar de otras personas, no de mi información personal. ¿Cómo le hacemos? Veamos. A ver. El subject. For example, you. Será lo mismo. Ah, ahí estamos muy bien. Si queremos hablar de alguien más. For example, you and we. Será lo mismo. Sí. En este caso sí. Miremos el segundo. Bueno, perdón. El tercer y cuarto ejemplo. Three. And four, three and four. Let me see. Um, Katia, can you read number three, please? 
You take the train. You take the train. Can you identify uh, the subject in this verb, in this sentence? You. You. What is the verb? Take. 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 And what is the complement? The train. The train. Exactly. Subject, verb, and complement. You take the train. Tú tomas el tren. Tal vez para ir a trabajar, para ir a la escuela, no sabemos. Pero miren, es una oración que también sigue la misma fórmula. We walk to school. We walk to school. The same. Okay. We walk to school. Can you mention the subject? What is the subject? We. 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 Verb. Walk. Complement. School. To school. Very good job. We walk to school. I, you, and we. Very good. Let's see. How about they? If we talk an, uh, a group of people, un grupo de personas y no estamos incluidos. They, they take the subject. Ah, pero a esta oración le hace falta algo. ¿Quién puede identificar? ¿Qué le hace falta a esta oración? They take the subject. They the period. Very good job. Muy bien. Creo que acá, miren, my mistake. Siempre una oración y en inglés más que todo. Punto final. Period. How do we say punto final? Period. And important. Siempre I lo vamos a escribir en mayúscula. Okay? Nunca en minúscula. No solo porque esté al inicio de la oración va en mayúscula. No. En cualquier posición de la oración va en mayúscula. So they take the subway. They take the subway. Okay? Questions about this one. Está fácil identificar la fórmula? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Muy bien. But these are yes. affirmative or positive statements. Affirmative or positive statements. Okay? Son afirmativos. No estamos diciendo nada que nos diga lo contrario, que sea negativo. Okay? Affirmative. So, let me see. On the other hand, if we continue talking about simple present statements, we have subject, verb, and complement. But in this case, look, we are going to talk about he and she. He and she. If you notice, si se fijan en la primera parte, no incluimos he and she. Okay? Pero en este caso, ¿qué pasa cuando hablamos de he and she and it? También it. Aquí solo he incluido he and she. ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasa? Es la misma fórmula, pero pasa algo. El verbo, el verbo en este caso, tenemos que agregarle algo. ¿Qué es? What do we add? Yes. We add the letter S. The letter S, exacto. Pero... Para los verbos que son regulares o irregulares. Regular o irregular verbs. Regular. Oh, regular. Exactly. Yesterday, we had some examples about irregular verbs. Ya vamos a hacer esas oraciones con irregular verbs. Okay? He takes the bus. She drives to work. Okay? Those are regular verb. Ayer teníamos el verbo have, que es un verbo irregular. El verbo do, que es un verbo también irregular. ¿Por qué? Porque cambia cuando lo conjugamos con he and she. Y teníamos otro verbo. ¿Quién se acuerda del otro verbo que vimos? Go. go. Muy bien. Go. Have. Do and go. Okay? So, let's make a sentence. Okay. Let me make it bigger. Let me see. Creo que de este tamaño es. Yes. He. The subject. Conjuguemos have. 
have. Has. Uh -huh. No has. sería have porque cambia. Entonces sería, miren, have. A. Let me make it bigger. A car. Digamos que tiene un carro. He has a car. Subject, verb, and complement. Because this is an irregular verb. Un verbo irregular, ¿ok? He has a car. Let's do it with do. Do. She. Does. Does. Muy bien, clase. Does. The, the laundry, digamos. ¿Saben qué es laundry? Laundry. Lavandería. No, yeah. Lavandería. Let's make it big. Ajá. And period at the end. Ponemos punto final. Ella hace o she does the laundry. Does. Can you tell me a sentence using go? He mm -hmm. goes to the party. Wow, okay, wait. Ya no me cabía. Dámosla acá. She goes to the party. Very good. She goes to the party. So can you identify the subject in this sentence? She. she the she verb. Goes. 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 The complement. To the party. To the party. Period. And the period, very good job. Eso esperaba escuchar. She goes to the party. She goes to the party. Very good. So, regular and irregular verbs. Regular and irregular verbs. En el, en el ejemplo, en el video, hay más ejemplos. O también usando este tipo de verbos irregulares. Regular and irregular verbs. Okay? But let me give you some time. Le voy a dar unos minutos para que copiemos. Primero esta parte y luego retrocedo a la diapositiva anterior, ¿ok? Vamos, clase. She goes to the party. Take one minute so you can copy these examples in your notebook. Ok, and let me know once you're done. Cuando terminen me dicen, I'm, I'm done. Okay, tell me I'm done. I finished, teacher. Excellent, I can see you working. Copy this in your notebook, okay? On your notebook. Very good. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Very good. So, yes. yes. Very good. So, let's move back to the other examples. These ones. These ones, okay? You can take some notes. So, you can remember the examples. Wow, it's about to rain here. It's about to rain. Is it raining there? Está lloviendo en su casa, ya? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right. No, wow, no. Oh. Ok, no sé si pueden escuchar, pero se escuchan unos grandes truenos por acá. Where do you live? In San Salvador. How about you? Where do you live? La Unión. La Unión. Wow, we are so far. Estamos muy lejos, pero miren, esto es lo bonito de la virtualidad. Que podemos estar cerca, juntos en la misma clase, ¿ok? Bien. 
Did you finish class? Did you finish? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I finished. So yes. let me ask you. Let me ask you. Ah, did you listen to that sentence? Escucharon esa oración que hicimos. Where do you live? I live yeah. in La Unión. Ese es un simple present statement. Okay, simple present. Where do you live? I live in La Unión. En esa oración pueden identificar el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. I live in La Unión. Subject. I. Verb. Live. Live. Complement. In La Unión. In La Unión. Excellent job. Another example. Can you tell me another example using simple present affirmative? Affirmative. Mm -hmm. I am a student. Oh, I am listening. Pero ahí ya nos pasamos a otro. Ya no sería simple I, present, sería I Dije, I am a student. Oh, okay, I am. Okay, and there you are using the verb to be excellent. I am a student. So, Let's make a pause. Hagamos una pausa y pasemos la lista, okay? So I cannot forget about it. Please tell me here or present. What day is it today? Today is Wednesday, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Bien, Amilcar. Present, teacher. Excellent job. Bernardo. Okay, I guess he's not there. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Present. Very good. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present. Excellent. Claudia Lisset López. Present. Excellent. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present. Excellent. Emma Yamilet Corea. Present. Okay. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Excellent. Gerson Antonio Hernández. I'm here. Excellent. Ingrid Jamilet Arias. Present. Thank you. Irma Raquel Garcia. Present. Excellent. Jaime Oswaldo Cortez. Present. Excellent. Jose Samuel Rodriguez. Present. Excellent. Juliana Martinez. Present. Juliana, how do you pronounce your second name? Present. ¿Cómo pronuncias tu segundo nombre? Vergeli. Vergeli. Wow, es la primera vez que escucho. Muy bonito sí. nombre. Bergeli. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Eh, Karen Ivette Callejas. Present. Very good. Catherine Abigail García. Present. Muy bien. Catherine Alicia Martínez. Present. Muy bien. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Present. Muy bien. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. I'm here. Very good. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Excelente. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present. Bien. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Excelente. Stacy Nicole Rivera. I'm here. Okay. How about yesterday, Stacy? ¿Qué pasó ayer? Stacy. Bueno. No pude estar en las clases por problemas personales. Bueno. Chicos, siempre que faltemos en el chat. Para eso es el chat, ¿ok? Teacher, eh, me disculpo, no puedo conectarme. Así sabemos, ¿ok? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Estás enfermo? O algún inconveniente, ¿ok? Wendy de Carmen González. Perdón, perdón, este, no. yo no estoy agregada al chat porque no me ha caído ningún mensaje. Vaya, gracias, Juliana, ya le paso el enlace aquí por el chat okay. para que usted se pueda unir. Gracias por okay, decirme. gracias. You're welcome. Wendy del Carmen. Bye, Present. Ok. Ah. Yancy Andrea Meléndez. Ah. Yeah. Ok. And Zaira Chamilet Figueroa. Present. Present. Okay, so I'm just missing eh, Bernardo, right? Bernardo me falta nada más. Excellent. So, class, 
Uh, let's continue with the topic, okay? Simple present statements. Simple present statements. Affirmative with he and she and with the other subjects. So, uh, yes, Carmen, you said, dígame. No me mencionó. Really? Déjeme ver qué pasa. Ok, es cierto, tengo los Carmen por eso. Carmen dice Santillana, ¿verdad? Sí. Gracias por decirme. Aquí estamos, presente. Muy Thank bien. You. Don't worry. So, let's continue. Here we go. I was telling you about that we have... Let me see. Affirmative statements. Affirmative statements. And we also have negative, negative statements, negativos, ¿ok? Tenemos negativos. En este caso, miren, cambia un poquito la fórmula. ¿Qué le agregamos? Vean lo que está en rojo. What is in red? The negative. Mm, and how do we call this? What is this in English? Do not and... Doesn't. 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 Don't, so, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. The complete form. Wait, let me do this. Do not. Exactly. We have do not equals to. Es igual a equals to. Don't. Don't. Does. Eso sería el verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? Exactly. Es un auxiliar. Is equals to does sent. Does sent. Okay? It's like the short form. Forma corta. Más rápida de hablar. And we are going to use do not. ¿Con quién usamos do not classes? For the... ¿Con qué I, 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 you, uh -huh. we, they. I, you, we, we and they. they. Very good. With no. I, you, we, and they. And we are going to use does not with he, she, he, 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 and he, it. Or the third person. Third person, okay. So, I, you, we and they. Don't. He, she, it doesn't okay there we go there we go so subject plus don't doesn't plus verb plus complement let's take a look at the examples here we go i you he she we and they y los tenemos a todos i you he she we and they we are just missing it Nos falta it, pero después hacemos it. So, number one. Help me out. Read number one. ¿Quién puede leer number one? Let me see. Volunteers, yeah, raise yeah. your hand. Quiero ver las manos levantadas. I need three, four, six volunteers. There you go. Thank you. I have seven. Very good. So, who is the first one? Jose Samuel, number one. I don't live far from here. Okay, Samuel, uh, tell me the subject. Uh, I. Auxiliary. Don't. Don't. Verb. Live. And complement. Far from here. Very good job, it's clear. Thank you so much, Jose Samuel. Jancy, number two. Okay, you don't live near here. Okay, tell me the subject. You. Auxiliary. Don't. Verb. Live. Complement. Near here. Excellent job. Katia, continue please with he. He doesn't work downtown. Very good. Subject. He. Auxiliary. Doesn't. Uh, verb. Work. Excellent. And complement. 
downtown. Downtown. Excellent job. Stacy, continue with she. And she doesn't drive to work. She doesn't drive to work. Tell me the subject. She. Auxiliary. Doesn't. Verb. Drive. And complement. To work. Okay. Juliana. Juliana, you're next. With uh, we. Okay, we, Juliana. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't live alone. Okay, leave, leave. One more time, leave. Leave. Mm -hmm. We don't live alone. We don't live alone. Tell me the subject. We. Tell me the auxiliary. Don't. Tell me the verb. Live. And the complement. Alone. Okay, excellent job. Carlos Manuel. They. They don't need a card. They don't need a card. Subject. They. Auxiliary. Don't. Verb. Need. And complement. A card. Okay. Let me see who was next. I had another volunteer. It was a Carmen Lisette. Carmen Lisette, number one. Can you please make this sentence in an affirmative way? Pasemosla de negativo a afirmativo. Number one, how do we make this one? I live far from here. I live far from here. Is that correct, class? Yes. 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 Okay, miren, solo eliminamos el auxiliar y ya nos queda afirmativo. Number Two, can you make it affirmative? Uh, let me see. Ingrid. Ingrid and then Carmen Guadalupe. Ingrid, number two. You live near here. Excellent job. Carmen Guadalupe, you're next. He. Hagámosla afirmativa. Aquí la estamos poniendo en negativo. Quiero afirmativa esta oración. He. He work downtown. He work downtown. Class, is that um, complete or are we missing something? ¿Qué nos hace falta? The letter the S, S in the verb. The S. Ah, si se fijan, ¿qué hace el auxiliar? El auxiliar no permite que nuestro verbo cambie. El verbo siempre queda en su forma original. ¿Qué pasa si le quitamos el auxiliar? Oh, para he, she, and it, we need to add S. He works downtown. Let me make it bigger. I'm going to make it bigger. He works downtown. Ah, exactly. But what if it's negative? Si es negativa, se quita esa S porque el Auxiliar no nos permite modificar el verbo. Next one, um, Marvin. Marvin, continue, please. He drives to work. She drives. Excellent, excellent. One more time. Can re you, you repeat, please? Uh, she drives to work. Excellent. Drives, que se note esa es al final, drives. She drives to work. Excellent job. Next one. Emma. Emma and then Zaira. Emma and Zaira, get ready. Emma, please continue. We. We don't. Ah, okay, we don't. We live alone. We don't live alone. Necesitamos agregarle S al verbo live. Yes or no? No. 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 Why? Es plural. Ah, exactly. Because we're talking about we. And we are just going to add S for he, she, and it. Very good job. The third person. The third person. Exactly. Zaira. Last example. They. 
They don't need a car. Okay, now affirmative. Make it affirmative. They need a car. They need a car. They need a car. So class, is this clear? Yes or no? How do we make affirmative yeah, statement yes, and yes. negative? And how do we do the opposite? ¿Cómo yeah. cambiamos una negativa a afirmativa? Is it clear? Yes? yes. Okay. One minute to yeah. copy. Copiamos estos ejemplos. Un minuto. Go, class. You can do it. Let's copy this in your notebook. And your notebook, please. And let me know once you're done. Please, tell me I finish. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, tengo una consulta. Go. Haga. ¿Por, ¿Por qué no se puede decir, eh, por ejemplo, vaya, inicialmente estaba en negativo, pero, por ejemplo, en la primera, I do live. O sea, ¿por qué no, no, no sé? Siendo la lógica, ¿verdad? Si le ponemos tú a, ah, en este caso, fíjense que eso sí existe. Sí existe. Mm. I do live far from here. Pero cuando hacemos eso, ya el do nos serviría simplemente como una extra afirmación. Yo sí vivo lejos de aquí. I do live far from here. Cambia el significado. O si yo les pregunto, did you get it? ¿Entendieron? I do understand. Yo sí entiendo. El do se convierte en una doble afirmación, como que le da más fuerza a la afirmación. Ya no, no tiene en este caso un significado, sino que en afirmativo simplemente nos ayuda a afirmar. ¿Ok? Como que sube eh, el nivel de afirmación. ¿Ok? okay. I do live far from here. Si le agregamos, sí podemos hacerlo, claro, pero ya no significa nada en específico, sino que realzamos la oración. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Muy buena observación. Eso sí existe en inglés. Ok, I do. O por ejemplo, you do live near here to. Sí, vives cerca de acá. He does work. He does work downtown. Él sí trabaja. Ok, downtown. Okay. She does drive to work. Ella sí trabaja, sí maneja el trabajo. Ok, es una afirmación. Is it clear? Yes. Muy bien. Yes. Excelente. Bien, okay, aprendimos algo nuevo. Did you finish? Sí, yes. I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Eh, si, la oración, si la oración sería He does eh, He does work downtown. Ahí ya no, ya no se pondría la S. Es correcto. Es lo mismo. Es lo mismo, ¿ok? Ya no se pone la S. He. Oh, I'm sorry. He does work. No hay S. To. No, he does drive, dijimos, ¿verdad? To work. Vamos a compararla con el negativo. Doesn't drive to work. Veamos la diferencia en significado. Miren la primera. Number one. Le pongo número uno. Okay? Number one. He does drive. Up. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Otra vez. Here we go. He does drive. No es to work. This is number one. Same sentence, negative statement. He doesn't drive to work. Okay. Significado de la primera clase. He does drive to work. ¿Cómo sería? Él sí maneja, Él sí maneja a su trabajo. 
Estamos afirmando. Sí maneja. Número dos. Number two. Él no maneja. Él no maneja. Okay. Quizás acá es coincidencia. Sí, no. Pero es como afirmar, reafirmar. Sí maneja el trabajo. Quizás alguien está diciendo, no, he takes the train. Or he takes a taxi. Y nosotros queremos afirmar. Es decir, no, he does drive to work. He doesn't take the train. ¿Ok? Le da esa fuerza, esa entonación. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear, class? Yes. No? Yes. So, we yes. are going to yes. practice right now. Look, we are going to practice. What are we going to do? Uh, we are going to do this exer exercise individually, and then we are going to compare with your groups. Okay? Take a look at my example. Here we go. Let me know if you can see. Look. Wait, yes. give me a second. Let's practice, okay? Here we go. I'm going to give you two minutes so you can develop this exercise uh, and your notebook, okay? Vamos al cuaderno. Vamos, clase. Go. Did you finish? No yet. Okay. I told you. Okay, let's practice. My family and I, my family and I live lives in the suburbs. My wife and I work works near here. So we walk walks to work. Our son don't doesn't drive. He Ride, ride his bike to school, to school. So let me give you like a clue para hacerlo mucho más fácil de entender y de completar, hagamos esto. Siempre que tengan esto y se les haga difícil, vamos a, miren, a identificar los sujetos. Sujetos acá, my family and I. ¿Qué pronombre utilizamos para my family and I? We. we. Mm, entonces, si ya sé que es we, fácilmente identifico cuál verbo es el correcto. ¿okay? Live or live. Live, live. Muy bien. Así de simple. We live. have the same example. Miren aquí abajo tenemos my wife and I. We. 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 Exacto. Como ya sabemos cuál es el pronombre, se me hace mucho más fácil. Eso es por sí. Nos cuesta identificar el verbo. We. En chiquitito lo puse. And we have we. Esta ya la sabemos. We. Está muy claro acá. Okay. Esto. Y tenemos our son. Our son, nuestro hijo. ¿Cuál sería acá? Él. 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 Nuestro hijo. Ajá, muy bien. Él. Él. Ah, ok. En el last. Y es que aquí está el último. Rice. Rice. 
Right. Very good. So let us stop sharing. Point to exercise. Eh, and stop. Ahorita lo comparto en WhatsApp. Ya agregamos el ejercicio y vamos a ir a chequearlo en grupos. Okay, five minutes. So you can check this exercise. Let's compare. Comparemos respuestas con sus compañeros. Okay. Here we go. Don't forget to say hi, class. How are you? Cuando nos veamos con los compañeros, siempre saludemos, interactuemos en inglés y cámaras encendidas. Okay? Here we go. Go, class. Unámonos, ahorita les comparto en WhatsApp. I'm just missing Juliana, Kelly, very good. Oh, Juliana and Nereida. Did you have problems to join? Teacher, yo tengo problemas de conexión, por eso no puedo unirme, creo. Okay, so we are going to work here. Vamos a trabajar acá, no se preocupe. And here we are. Let's practice. Ahí está el ejercicio. Check in. WhatsApp, ya se fue el ejercicio. Muy bien. So, let's compare. Here we go. Let's compare. Eh, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, teacher. Ok. So, right now. Let's do it right now. Hagámoslo ahorita rápido. Muy bien. WhatsApp. Very good. Okay, chat. Okay. Ya envié el enlace aquí al chat. Solo le damos clic y se nos une al grupo. Okay. And here we are. Take a look at this one. Let's compare. Juliana and Nereida, my family and I, my family and I. Lives? Mm -hmm. Oh, live or leaves? Lives. Lives. Are you sure? My family and I, live or leaves? My family and I live. Is this one? Look, ¿por qué es esta la correcta? Y no lives. Why? Okay. Por, el, por el verbo, teacher. Por el verbo. Por el verbo. Okay, so. Let's do something. Voy a dar un minuto más. Vean WhatsApp y desarrollamos el ejercicio mientras visito a sus compañeros. Ok, don't worry. I know you can do it. Go class. Did you finish class? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Excellent. So, keep on comparing answers. Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Was it easy or difficult? Oh. Was it easy, easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Okay. Wow. I'm glad to hear that. So don't forget. No olvidemos checar la plataforma y completar sección uno y dos. Okay. Very okay. Yes, teacher. Did you finish? Yes. No. Yes. Is this topic clear? Yes. 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 Okay. So don't forget to visit the platform and complete.
the exercises, okay? So we are about to go back. Casi volvemos a la sesión principal. Did you finish? Was it easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy? Easy. Wow, I'm really glad to hear that. So don't forget to check the platform and um, y desarrollar the, and develop the exercises. Siempre los ejercicios de la sección 1 y 2, ¿ok? Yes. Yes, teacher. Say yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Questions about this? Was it easy, difficult? So, so. Easy? Questions about this topic or no? Yes? No? No? No. Okay, so let's go back. Entonces, volvamos a la sala principal. Here we go. Correct answer. Number one. Here we go. My family and I. My family and I. Live. Live or lips? Live. 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 Oh, live. 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 Very good. Let me see. Very good. Uh, my wife and I, my wife and I, second sentence, my wife work, and I, work, 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 great job, work here, no, work near here, so we, walk or walk, work, 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 work. work. To work. Our son, our son, don't or that. That, 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 Affirmative and negative statements. Is it clear? Yes, no? Yes. It's clear. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. Okay, so I'm going to tell you affirmative sentences and you make negative sentences. Me la convierten a negativo. Veamos si quedó claro. One, two, and three. Let me see. I work to school. I work well. I walk to school. I walk, walk, caminar. I walk to I school. Don't, I don't yeah. walk walk to school. She walks to school. She walks to school. She, she doesn't, doesn't walk, walk to school. school. Yeah. Um, another one. He lives in San Salvador. Yes, he don't. Oh, escuché por ahí. He don't. Sería don't. He doesn't. Uh -huh. he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Very good. Be careful. Be careful. He, she, and it doesn't. I, you, we, and they don't. Okay? Don't. Okay? So let me show you. We are about to finish. There we go. It's raining already. Ya está lloviendo acá. It's raining. Okay, it's so. beginning here. Yeah, right? <laughs> but we did it. Here we go. If you go to the platform, these are the exercises. 1.4. And it's very easy. Aún más fácil porque ahí está es opción múltiple. Okay? Uh -huh. And... Don't forget, you can watch again. Watch these videos with the explanations. Same examples, regular and irregular verbs. Then you have another exercise, okay? And where did I take? ¿De dónde tomé estos ejemplos, clases? ¿De dónde los tomé? Del student's manual. No es nada que no esté en su manual, okay? 
By the way, por cierto, chicos, ¿enviaron la confirmación de que sí recibieron el manual, lo que les pidieron en la tarde? Yes, yes. Yes. yes, very good. So look, here we are. Aquí están los ejemplos. Y aquí también estos ejemplos. Está ¿no? el manual, fíjate. Mira, aquí está, ¿ven? Así que todo lo que vemos en la clase es tomado de nuestro manual, de nuestra plataforma, para que no quede dudas. ¿Dónde puedo consultar? Ahí está. Tengo videos, tengo la clase que la puedo volver a ver. Y así repasar y que no nos quede ninguna duda. ¿Ok, class? Ok. Yes. So, okay. don't forget. For tomorrow, we need to complete section one and two. Ok. Today, Teacher. tell me. Y la foto que dijo que le recordara. Okay, thank you. You see, I forgot. Okay. So, we are going to smile in three, in two, and, <laughs> and one. Smile class. Excellent. Thank you, Milka. Go. Wow, we look so beautiful, class. Let me send you to the group. To the correct group. Ya me ha pasado, saben, que le envío al otro grupo. Pero no, este es de 8 no. Here we go. Muy bien, clases out. Si no tenemos más preguntas. Vamos a dar un minuto más para que queden exactamente los 60 minutos de, gra de grabación. Recuerden que se nos cortó al inicio por el bajón de luz que tuve. Así que, preguntas, está claro, simple present statements. ¿Qué hemos cubierto hasta ahora? The transportation, family members. Possessive case and simple present statement, affirmative and negative. Ven cómo vamos avanzando. La importancia es que estemos siempre en cada clase para que no perdamos la secuencia de los temas. ¿Verdad? So, si no hay preguntas, nos vamos a ver cuándo. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, please. Practice with the exercises. Check the platform. And tomorrow we are going to continue with simple present statements in negative again and questions, preguntas, okay? Eso es lo que vamos a ver mañana. Y routine, la rutina. Piensen bien cuál es su rutina diaria. ¿Qué hacen desde que ustedes se levantan hasta que finalizamos el día? Piensen un poquito porque esa es la tarea. Simplemente pensar. Mañana vamos a construir eso, okay? So, Thank you so much for being here. Have a great night. Bye, class. Good night. 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 Good night.